Hello everyone. I always like to test uh, games that are for other platforms on the Steam. Uh, I own a PlayStation, so I tried some Xbox games. Forza Horizon, you have, uh, I think, three videos of it, and it works pretty good, actually. Now I'll be trying Gears 5. I heard you have to tweak it a bit in order to work. For some, it doesn't work at all. Let's see what we can do. Now I have just installed it. Uh, be careful, it's a big uh, up download, maybe over 100 gigabytes. And let's see if it starts like this. Probably not. The anti the anti cheat will uh, not let me start it. Okay, so it doesn't seem to start as you can see. Let's force an exit. And try to disable the anti-cheat. I read somewhere and I saw another video that you need to uh, rename the anti-cheat folder in order for this to work. So let's head to desktop mode. Locate the game files. Let's launch Steam. Identify the game. Right click properties. Local files. And you can hit browse. So it's actually 120 gigabytes. Uh, folder is located in gear game binaries steam easy anti-cheat let's rename it easy anti-cheat 2 Oh yes, and um, the keyboard, the virtual keyboard on the desktop mode doesn't work without Steam installed. So if you don't have a keyboard attached like I don't have now, and you only use a um, controller or even the Steam Deck, you won't be able to uh, input anything. <laughs> okay, boom. Okay. So I have renamed it. There was an additional step to rename gears5.exe to gears5 underscore eac.exe. But first let's see if it works like this. And this. Okay, let's try now. So it seems that those steps are not enough. We'll need a um, final step where we have to download a new DLL. I have used the instruction on, on ProtonDB. First, you will need to establish a connection or download it uh, directly from uh, the Steam Deck. Uh, transfer my DLL file that I have downloaded from the instructions I found on the ProtonDB side in the Warpinator folder. Now it's not here anymore because I have uh, pasted it there. Uh, and from here you need to go to 
let's start steam and uh, show you you know how to get to the folder of the file you can go from here right click properties local files and browse and the dolphin file manager will open in our uh, location that we need it so our dll file is located in engine binaries third party gfsdk aftermath x64 and you will find to one file here you need to rename the existing file to gf sdk dll and put the additional new dll file here if you don't trust how to how this is done you can uh, compose the dll file yourself if you don't trust the dll that you can uh, that you are provided on the internet so after this i prefer using the desktop mode I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller for this because it seems easier to play shooters with it than the Steam controller. Try to play the game. Finally play the game. Until now I have only managed to get to the logo. And after the logo it just disappeared and the menu didn't, didn't uh, load correctly. So I managed to get here and the other logo. And here is where it ended for me. But now as you can see, we have some additional menus. Okay, let's see. Press, I don't have A, but probably X, it's okay. Now I'll get the anti-cheat warning. Oh, I need to sign into the Xbox. I have an Xbox account. Okay, I have entered my credentials, and now let's try to start the game. The easy anti-cheat is not available, of course, but it doesn't matter because we won't be going online, of course. Brightness, continue, it seems okay. To adjust the corners, okay. Looks good. Control scheme, okay. Well, let's see if we can go in-game. For some reason, I don't know if uh, I don't know why the PlayStation 4 controller is not working properly. I don't know why. Maybe because it's an Xbox Just game. Who knows? So I'm playing with the Steam Deck right now, although I'm TV out. Okay, navigate in any direction. As you can see, the game works. You can shoot. So with that bit of tinkering. You are able to enjoy this game at 60 frames per second, so it, and the draw distance is very good. Let's temper with the settings a bit, with the graphical settings, and see if we can make them higher or lower, I don't know. Video. The, okay, so it's default quality, recommended. Frame to 30 frames per second. Frame rate limits at cinematic, show stats none. Whoa, I'm on ultra texture. Wow. Character level, oh, come on, details, shadow. Okay, let's. 
character level ultra. Let's crank it up to ultra. Best animation, yeah. Shadow medium, let's... Okay. Ambient occlusion. Contact shadows, if we upgrade this, will... Tessellation quality. Pupil minor, okay. Volumetric fog. Okay, so now we're having some impacts on the apply settings, yes. Let's see. After every task, I'll Still 60 frames per second. Impressive. It, the resolution indeed is low, but... Okay, I don't know where to go. Activate the tech com. What is a tech com? Use L. Use R to control the move rotation. Okay. Oh look, I see Dave. Wonderful! I, I love it. Anyway, uh, now hit the keypad. Use the keypad. Excellent. X to I interact. Incoming, Damon. Okay. Right. Step one for combat ready Look at the environment and we're still looking good. Wow, this game really is beautiful. So, am I shooting something now? Okay, I should go into cover. But how? LB. Okay, the shooting module, this is what I have been expecting. Pick up a lancer. Where do I keep where did I get this lancer? From here. Okay, grab a lancer. The car's most trusted and versatile firearm. Man, how could you not trust something with a chainsaw band? Target lock on beginning assistance knives. Okay. What I should. Nice. Nice. Okay, so the single player will be playable. It's a bit hard to make it work, and uh, with I don't know if you risk it. You should wait for a um, discount to try this game on the Steam Deck. But if you have a powerful, more powerful PC, it's a great game for you to try it. So, if you like this video and have find it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.